Welcome back. A bullathon to help domestic violence victims in our community is happening next month. Trudy Higgins and Julie Johnson are here to tell us a little bit more about the event. Thank you both for being Thanks here. Thanks for having us. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about what's going on. What's a bullathon all about? Oh, it's really an exciting day. It's actually a week from today, okay. March 3rd, at Bolero in Milford. And um, we have many bowlers and teams supporting uh, domestic violence because it's a very underfunded program. Sure, yeah. So on that day, we expect, uh, we begin at 11.30 in the morning. It ends, uh, the last session is around seven. And we have, uh, as I say, many teams of bowlers coming, but people can also donate in addition to that, even if they cannot um, attend the event. So we have many different ways through our website, which is www.bhcare.org. Um, and uh, any amount, of course, of money is appreciated yeah, by us. Okay. It really helps mm -hmm. the cause. And we also have that day um, a clothing drive for my sister's place, okay. which is the th the thrift store that supports our domestic violence program. So people can come and donate their uh, new or gently used clothing. We really appreciate that. Tell us a little bit about where the money goes and how it helps. Sure. Um, the Umbrella Center for Domestic Violence Services is a program of BH Care. There is 19 towns that um, is served by the program. They offer services for victims and their children from advocacy to court-based services to crisis um, the crisis hotline to safe houses and so if somebody is a victim of domestic violence they could reach out um, and receive services and all the services are free um, last year the umbrella center serviced over 6,000 victims wow. so yeah so it is um, really really important to try and raise money to continue to be able to serve uh, the victims in this area and to offer them free Sure. Yeah. This also does a lot to raise awareness about the cause too, right? It's something sure. that's often not talked about as much as it should be. Sure. Um, you know, statistics say about 40% um, of the time um, is un it's unreported. So wow. if you think about the 6,000 victims that are served, there are so many more in the community that, that are not being served. Right. And so it's really, um, you know, to bring the community out, to show our support for sure. the program, but also to raise awareness to let people know that there are services available yeah. in the area. And maybe that gives them the courage to come forward sure. and get right. the help yes. they need. Right. Definitely. So have you done the Bullathon before? Oh, this <laughs> is our thirty first year. Oh, I've been going on for a long time. Years. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's it's well known. So it's um, a big success. <laughs> it is. It is in fact we raised last year over eighty thousand dollars, but we're hoping to wow. reach or exceed a hundred thousand yes. this year. Yes, yes. yes. We just need the support from the community. And right. most of the time, uh, these services are funded in large part by donations? Sure. Yes, okay. absolutely. Yeah, usually by private donations, by grants, by the communities that they serve. Right. Um, but, you know, there's never enough money. Right. There's always services that could be provided. And so it's really important that even if uh, somebody can't go down there on right. Sunday to bowl to show their support, they could always donate by going online um, and showing their support. Sure, there's right. always more that can be done. And actually the information was just there on the screen and there it is again. Uh, if you'd like to take part, thank you ladies so much for Thanks being so here. Much. We appreciate okay. it. Thanks for having and us. Thanks thank for you all so the work much. you do. It's definitely thank an important you. cause. We'll be back after this, stay with us.